All right, so I'm back. Um, I uh, I finally figured out my my problem. Um, let's see here. I had to Google search quite a bit um, to get it to work. But if you go over here to uh, if you're struggling with the same thing, um, you have to add this line to your um, index.js and then uh, in your index.mustache. Uh, if you have your file structure the same as mine, then it's just styles.css. Took me a long freaking time to figure that out. But uh, now, as you can see, we've changed that. I just made the background green to make sure it works. So now, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going in here to um, change these so that it looks more like the user directory. So, um, what we're going to do is let's take the background line. Maybe no background. And let's see. We got this set up here. So we've actually got that in a div. So let's Let's take this off here. I wonder what will happen if we... Ah. Let's give these class names. Yeah, I know this is pretty boring, but I'm just going through and adding classes here. I don't know why I'm doing a space between. Uh, just adding classes so I can call them out in uh, the CSS. And there may be an easier way to do this. Um, I really have never tried to uh, do this with handlebars before, I mean, mustache before, so I don't know if you might be able to call things out uh, in CSS just using the mustache uh, thing, so uh, I really don't know. But I'm doing it this way because this is the way I've always done it. And I'm resistant to change. Just a couple more here. side by side so we can see it. All right. Let's actually get rid of that. Wait, actually don't even need that, I think. Uh, so let's do And I know that this is the default for uh, FlexFlow, but I like to put it in there um, just because, you know, I know I like to, I mean, the default for FlexFlow is row and wrap, but I like to have it in there just so I, I kind of, I don't know, it helps me. So, um, I'll do width, uh, VW, I kind of like that. Um, Let's actually put the body back in there. I usually like to do this on the body so that nothing uh, runs over. Um, let's say uh, that's width 100 W and Row 
about uh, so content space around. Let's see how that looks. So oh. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. Let's take another look at that little gander. I got this color picker here. That's not the color I'm looking for. Let's use that color. Get the name. No, let's let's tackle image first. Because it looks like they're a little bit big on ours. Ah, that's not bad. We'll just leave it like that. Um, I don't think we really need to edit the image too much. But we do need to edit the name. We're going to do font size, uh, I'm not sure, and color. Ah, there we go. Let's see what that looks like. And I think they used a sans serif font. No. There we go. It's looking better already. I feel great about this. Oh, and I see what they did here. So available for hire. So we need to change that in our, um, I guess we can write an if statement for that. We'll tackle that later. Um, so let's see here. The rest of it looks, see, I'm not sure if they want it styled like, I don't know. It's a little bit confusing on the uh, results. Let's, uh, can't tell if there's supposed to be a border box around it. Um, let's see, out of container users. Okay, let's do this right here. And I know there's shorthand for this, but I uh, I usually write it all out because um, you know I like that. Fin. centered in there. Um, shoot. Oh, yeah. We're going to 
change that to column because I said the default is we're gonna keep the wrap on that. The default is row. There we go. It is so beautiful. Uh, looks uh, looks kind of weird. Uh, I think we probably want the justify content to be like start. I'm obviously missing something here. Um, anyway, uh, I don't know how long this video has been, but uh, you get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here so you can kind of see how that works. Hopefully that answers some more questions you might have about um, this. Anyway, thanks for watching.